Hey guys, just want to put up a quick video, a uh, thank you slash shout out to uh, a good buddy of mine, uh, Shane over at DLT Lawn Care. Uh, let me show you, I won a, uh, a little drawing on his, um, what was it, a uh, grow stream. If you haven't checked it out uh, and you have a YouTube channel, you may want to go over there and uh, join all of us. It's kind of a, a big community that uh, we all hang out and uh, give each other a bunch of crap and uh and grow channels so but anyways uh let me just show you what i got uh thought it was pretty good uh, he shipped it over to me really quickly and i just installed it on my trailer new trimmer string holder uh been waiting for one of these i just really hadn't pulled the trigger yet uh you know i got a bunch of the other green touch items up on my trailer um but this has the built-in uh string cutter which uh works really nice i just tried it out which is uh Way better than the one that I had. This is what I had before. I think this is a Rackham industry or something. Uh, you know, it's, it's basically just a simple bracket with a bolt that goes through it. But you can see how flimsy this thing is. Uh, this plastic tube is already broken and uh, it's just kind of a piece of crap. And I, I don't know what this was on the end of it. It's supposed to hold the string or whatever, but when I first saw it, I thought it might have been a cutter of some type, but it's not. So this thing's basically a piece of junk. Uh, compared to, to this one here, which is really nice. It's adjustable uh, width-wise, which is nice. Um, and, uh, you know, you can put a bigger spool, I guess. I might probably just cut this because I always run the same size spool, just in case so I don't grab this and end up bending it. But she seems pretty uh, pretty sturdy and easy to use. Like I said, uh, all you do is stick the string right through here, off of your spool, and bang, cut it. So... I've yet to have one of these in 20 years. I'm always carrying around a pair of cutters or, you know, pocket knife or whatever to, to cut the string when you, re, uh, when you redo your uh, trimmer heads. So, again, uh, thanks, Shane. I appreciate the, uh, the handout or the, the uh, drawing winner or whatever you want to call it. Um, I take back a couple of the bad things I said about you. Not all the things, just some of them. Just kidding. Uh, other than that, let me uh, do a little truck update while I'm here. I don't think I got the lettering yet on the channel. I forget. As I get older, I'm starting to lose my mind. Although I never had my mind to begin with. Went ahead and went with the white and green logo. Uh, truck's filthy, as you can see. That's not too bad on the inside. I don't think I've ever showed the inside of this on camera either. Uh, just pretty pretty stripped kind of a work truck. You got the manual uh, Four-wheel drive shifter here. Just a plain Jane radio with a CD player. It does have the aux in which is nice to plug in your phone uh, No power like I said no power uh, windows or anything like that, but it does have air conditioning that works well tilt steering wheel um, It's got the six-speed transmission with the uh, you can shift auto, uh, manually just by this button up and down if you put it down into manual mode, which is really nice. It's got the built-in uh, trailer brake trailer brake controller right over there, which works really well, especially pulling the new dump trailer that I just got. And uh, know how many times have you guys seen these? Anybody that does irrigation knows what this is and why this is like this. But uh, I did put these wheels on. I might be taking them back off and put the stock wheels back on it. Uh, I got a good deal on these. These are like uh, later model, the generation after this truck, uh, the Denali style, uh, you know, wheels. These are actually just filthy. They're in really, really good shape. Um, got some good tires on them. But uh, the chrome steel wheels, I think I'm just going to put back on uh, that the truck came with. I do like these. I think they make the, the truck look a little better, but it's a work truck. It really doesn't need to look, you know, super fancy. You know, it's got a share of dings and, and dents. Well, not too many dents, but mostly dings here and there on the truck. But the lettering, I think, looks good on the blue. I'm not used to the blue truck as opposed to the white truck. And I just did the tailgate. You know, tailgate's a little banged up, scratched up. It's a work truck, but I just did the tailgate this morning. And uh, life of a landscaper, right? Always a mess in the back of the truck. But yeah, so on the trailer, I've now got the small two and a half gallon uh, green touch rack. As you can tell, the older style because it's faded quite a bit more than the others. 
or at least this and, and that. This is the five gallon uh, fuel tank holder. And then I've got a, what is it? Three place uh, trimmer rack. This has been working out great uh, ever since I put these bolts. Um, I mentioned in another video I was going to put these bolts through here because these uh, these things did no good, the self-tappings. But now she's, I mean, it's solid as a rock moving the whole trailer to move that. So that's really nice. That's been working out good. Um, blower rack, you know, I like it. It's secure. It is a pain in the neck to get to. I don't know if anybody else is having this problem, but there's some sticky, I don't know, it just seems to be on the top. It's got to be something to do with this rubber coating that they use. Once it gets in the sun, it's like a sticky substance all over the top. Just the top. Completely all the way around the edges and the top here. Uh, I don't know, you know, what it is or why it is. Pull this little plastic stuff off. But we'll uh, probably just give it a cleaning and see if... Yeah, shouldn't have started that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, this has been working out pretty good. Staying nice and sturdy. Uh, you know, blower tube spins around and connects right there. Uh, and like I said in a previous video, I think the only thing left that I do want to get is the uh, green touch tool rack holder. I'm probably just going to order it right now. Um, probably going to bolt it right here. And it comes up to here with the four place, um, you know, hand tool rack. I was going to put it on the front. Uh, but in the future, I may consider making a ramp off the front of this trailer that would go into the back of the truck. Haven't figured it out yet if I'm going to do that. But the way this trailer is set up, pretty sure I have four feet in between here and here. I could just cut these tubes and eliminate this and build a small ramp, which would be nice if I ever want to back the walker into the back of the truck that's pulling it. Um, and also if you're wheelbarrowing and you want to get material into the back of the truck, you can roll the wheelbarrow up the ramp across the trailer and then up this ramp into the back of the truck. I had a couple of other trailers set up that way before and it works out really good. So I may consider doing that. And if I do that, I won't be able to put the, uh, the tool rack holder here. So like I said, on the side, I think would be a good spot kind of offset the uh, trimmer rack right there. And then, you know, like I said, it's just a, a basic 12, 12 foot uh, dovetail trailer. Uh, I really like this small gate. Uh, it's very light to, uh, to put up and down. You know, it doesn't have to be as long because of the dovetail. So it's got a nice uh, easy angle coming up to uh, put your mower back on. So this trailer is about done. Like I said, just put that on and uh, that's it. That's my, uh, my simple setup for my mowing uh, with the one walker. I'm thinking about adding a 36 inch stander pretty soon, hopefully. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it this season. I should do it this season, but I might not. Like I said, I just bought that uh, new dump trailer. It was quite an expense. So I might wait till next season where we're always, we're already more than halfway through the mowing season, but uh, I want to map out and see if I'm able to get the walker and a stander on this trailer. Pretty sure I can. I know I can if I flip the deck up on the walker. Um, but I don't know if I want to do that. I'm hoping maybe I can fit a stander 36, maybe turn sideways up in the front here and then back the walker up in the back here and just get it to fit. I think I might be able to do that. Or maybe I can back the stander up and then where the deck kind of comes out this way, the walker can back right up and overhang over the deck a little bit just to save a little space. But yeah, that's the update, what I'm running and uh, what I'm going with. Uh, hope you guys are having a good season. Uh, garage is still a mess. Just picked up a pool table. Again, this oldie. It's uh, Valley Manufacturing, which is a very popular bar style pool table. Um, but boy, is this thing old, huh? I had to have it when I saw it. I like these old style tables, old coin, uh, coin table, something you'd see in a bar. But I'm pretty sure it's got... Uh, a number on it 4479 I don't know if that's just a serial number or if it's a 79 is the date because that appears to be about a 1979 table it's pretty old but it's in really good shape you know I'm gonna get some new felt on it and uh, redo the bumpers but it's in uh, respectable conditions since it's been kicking around probably for 40 plus years and uh, gonna clean up the garage and get all the rest of the stuff out of here and down at the shop and uh, make a little game room out of it 
since I don't use it. These are the uh, chrome wheels. I don't think I've ever seen these. I've never seen these on on the truck yet, but uh, they're just dirty. But these are the regular chrome wheels that came on the truck uh, with Goodyear Wrangler Kevlar um, tires, and they're in really good shape. I mean, they're probably 70, 80 percent left of traction. All four of them, they have the uh, tire pressure monitoring in them and everything ready to go. So I think I'm just going to put these back on the truck and maybe just uh, sell those on uh, Facebook Marketplace or something. Uh, I don't know. I haven't, haven't decided yet. But I am going to be plowing with that truck. I don't really need chrome fancy wheels. You know, these are just steel. They're going to be a little bit more durable. They're easy to clean. So, all right. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.